S21 News, live at 11. Lots of people out and about today. The weather was gorgeous to help kick off the holiday weekend, but will the beautiful weather continue? Weather is where we begin tonight. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brian Tamadra again for James Tully. Let's get right over to this man over here, meteorologist Chris <laughs> Nallen in the first <laughs> warning weather center. Yeah, Chris, what are we looking up? Uh, you know that? something? I'm 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 actually going to bring some good news. You know, we so, like that. Yeah, we do. We really like that sunshine, and I have plenty of sunshine in the forecast for you. If you didn't. Thank you, Chris. Police in Lancaster City are investigating an early morning homicide. Officers were called to a home on East Chestnut Street just before 3 this morning, where they found 26-year-old Luis Santiago with a gunshot wound to the upper body. He was pronounced dead at the scene. Investigators say there was a party inside the home when Santiago and a suspect got into an argument. Police have not identified a suspect. A Silver Spring Township woman is behind bars facing numerous charges after police say she allegedly set fire to the mobile home she was living in. Police say Edna Land John is the person responsible. Silver Spring Township police responded to the blaze Friday afternoon around 2 on Linda Drive. John was arraigned this morning with bail set at $100,000. Police in York Township are asking for your help identifying a bank robber. Here's the man they're looking for. They say he robbed the Santander Bank on West Broadway Street Friday evening just before 6. If you know who he is or have any information, call police. In Schuylkill County, a man is dead from a heart attack after resisting arrest from police. This happened today in Gerardville. Police say Lucas Marcus was running up and down Main Street trying to get into people's cars. When he failed to stop when asked by police, he was tased. Police then say Marcus went into cardiac arrest while being handcuffed. He was taken to the hospital where he died. Police are still investigating. A Reading canine police officer is in critical condition after falling about 20 feet. Three-year-old Cody was assisting officers at Southwest Middle School to check for a possible intruder that happened last night. Now he was flown to a vet and had internal bleeding. He's been on the force since last July. And this is video of a bear spotted in Lower Paxton Township earlier this evening. The video was sent to us from CBS 21 Sports Director Jason Bristol. It was taken along Route 39 near the Blue Moose Restaurant. A Kentucky clerk jailed for refusing to issue marriage licenses to same-sex couples is getting support. Kim Davis declined to heed the U.S. Supreme Court order that legalized gay marriage. She says this goes against her religious beliefs. Her attorney says she doesn't plan to resign. Republican presidential candidate Mike Huckabee plans to visit Davis in jail to show support of what he calls criminalization of Christianity. Over 55,000 people have signed a petition on Huckabee's website calling for Davis's release. Caught on camera, a group of police officers and firefighters act quickly to save a man from a burning car. The car was fully engulfed in flames when they arrived and the driver still inside. They used extinguishers to fight the flames. Then one officer used his baton to lift up the hot handle. Finally, the rescuers began pulling him out, but lost their grip. When a tire exploded, he was eventually pulled to safety. The victim is in critical condition, but is expected to survive. Now to coverage of election 2016, Hillary Clinton looking for new votes in New Hampshire. The Democrat held a campaign event this afternoon, but her email issue is still giving her fits. Clinton tried shifting focus from her use of a private email server by taking a shot at Republican candidate Donald Trump. Well, he recently said, I don't have a clue about women's health issues. <laughs> really? I mean, you can't make this stuff up. He said he would do a much better job for women than I would. Now that's a general election debate that's going to be a lot of fun. One of Clinton's aides says a State Department member was paid to maintain her private email server she used while she was Secretary of State. Thousands of migrants from Arab and Asian countries reached their dream destination of Western Europe today after Austria and Germany agreed to accept them. But many more are still on the way. Refugee families arrived in Munich by train, then headed to temporary shelters. Thousands have been trapped in Hungary as the country tries to deal with the crisis of migrants pouring over the country's southern border with Serbia. Hungary's anti-immigration prime minister wants to secure the border to stop the flow. I left everything behind me, my family, my home, my mother, my sister. Just I won't be alive, live my life in peace. 
Government officials say Hungary needs to do more to make sure the migrants apply for asylum there before traveling to other countries. Separating the fur from the fuzz. Fellas with facial hair went face to face tonight to find out who is Central PA's Lord of the Beards. And they're doing it all for a good cause. CBS 21's Christy Mazur in Shippensburg at the annual Bearding Man Facial Hair Competition. And hey Brian, you're a man of many facial hairs, right? Unfortunately, I had to shave it off for the newscast, right? Um, what I would name my beard if I did have a beard? Right there, the cat lady. Very appropriate. <laughs> Reporting in Shippensburg, Kristen Mazur, CBS 21 News. That's going to be a nickname from now on. That's what I'm going to call her every time I see her. <laughs> well, moving on, a rally and parade for a group of hometown heroes. We'll take you to the Redland Little League Parade when we return. You're watching CBS 21 News live at 11. On this beautiful holiday weekend, folks are flocking along the Susquehanna River for Harrisburg's Capona Festival. Today was the first day of the three day event in Riverfront Park and City Island. There's plenty to eat, see and do, including canoe races, fireworks, face painting and so much more. By the way, important information for all you people who are driving. Street parking is free tomorrow and Monday. Well, couldn't have asked for a better weather to start this Labor Day weekend. Chris, is it going to last? That's for sure, Brian. And in fact, it gets even warmer. So if you missed the sunshine today by any chance, you have two more days if you have an extended weekend to make up for that on the full forecast coming up. You're watching CBS 21 News live at 11. In fact, it's been a very long time since we've seen a little stretch of wet weather. So we, in fact, could use this, the, the gardens, the grounds, uh, and, of course, the chance for some of those late day showers as we roll into Thursday. Yeah, I like, I like it. You like it, right? Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Not yet. Not too hot. Not too hot. I can live with it. Okay. Thank Not you. until, hey, it's better than wintertime. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, please don't remind me. Don't it's remind coming. me. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Okay. Well, Friday Night Lights is finally back, but some teams not hitting the field until tonight. That's right, Bishop McDevitt and Steel High kicking off their season tonight. We'll have the highlights, but first, a look at the big upset between Temple and Penn State. Stay with us. Sports is up next. You're watching CBS 21 News live at 11. Thank you, Chanel, and go Temple. I oh, I know that. you're excited about that. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. But let me just add my Rucker Scarlet Knights won today, too, so we're both winners today. Sounds <laughs> good. Appreciate it, Chanel. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, well, solving a Rubik's Cube can lead to hours of frustration. We'll tell you how a nine-year-old was able to solve it without actually touching it. You're watching CBS 21 News live at 11. Kennedy says the Cobra is afraid of humans and likely isn't going to attack. Well, that's nice to know. Now on a story that <laughs> is not so venomous. Finally tonight, a flashback from the 80s. How much time did you spend trying to solve Rubik's Never Cube? <laughs> well, back then, well, today there's apparently no need to put that much work into it. One nine-year-old from Kansas City built a robot out of Legos to solve the cube for him. Sensors scan the cube, which send messages to the arms, which tells them on which directions to turn. Mm. It can solve the cube in just under two minutes and 30 seconds. Now that's what I call a, a smart work. kid. Well, a lot of work. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Look, the kid is using his brain power for some good, interesting yeah. stuff. Oh, for sure. And, I, yeah. and I, you don't really have to use your brain power tomorrow. Just take in the sunshine, get out there and enjoy it. Some Sounds hot stuff. good. I like that. <laughs> Thanks yeah. for taking time. Have a good night.